Welcome back to Powerhouse. We're here today at Ferguson Enterprises and we're going to share some information that will make it easier for you to purchase a water heater if you're in the market. This is Trevor Jamison with Central Sales. We've got some questions for you. Let's start with the basics. Uh, for consumers, what types of water heaters are available today? The tank type water heater, uh, like the one behind you also is a tankless, heat pumps, uh, solar are a few options as far as tank type. Okay, let's go through each one. This one's a more traditional style. Explain the technology of this and how it works. With a tank type, obviously you're storing the water and it's burning. Uh, this one's got a blower on top, so it's, it's how it's vented and how, it's, how the water is ran through. The one behind you, you have is a tankless model, more efficient as far as the energy factor versus this one. Different venting and also uh, different uh, installations too. Okay, so this one keeps my water hot. This one works kind of like a coffee maker, right? Yeah, kind of like instantaneous. Okay, and then you also mentioned uh, a heat pump. Yes. Explain that technology and how that works. Heat pumps are kind of like, uh, it's a hybrid water heater. Um, it's kind of similar to this one where it's got a tank on here, but it'll have a hybrid on top like a refrigerator. And it's actually pulling uh, heat into the water heater and turning it in, into water. So it, they are more efficient, um, but it's using different technology versus a regular tank type and a tankless water heater. Okay, and just to touch on the solar option, uh, that's newer technology, right? Newer technology, um, a different cost. So you probably see some people deter a little bit versus solar, but it is as another option out there uh, that is pretty efficient too. Okay. Well, I'm really interested in this tankless model here. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and as you said, it's much more efficient. But how do I know which system is right for me and for my household? Uh, a lot of it is going to be, you'll, you'll need to definitely size them correctly because, like I said, we have a standard tank water heater and we have the tankless. Each one has different installations. Um, sizing is different for tankless versus the regular traditional type. So you'll definitely need to know uh, different, uh, there's some questions that we go through, um, knowing like uh, how many people you have in your house, uh, your faucet count, uh, washer and dishwasher, um, uh, fuel type, this one's, a, you can either come in half inch or three quarter gas, so the fuel type's gonna make a difference and also um, how you're vending it too. So, and the cost of installation is gonna be different too. If you're working with a local contractor too, those a contractor will be asking some questions too because uh, certain applications, certain water heater types not might work for them because of uh, what they have currently in their house. What other technology is out there to help us assess our needs as far as a water heater? Uh, speaking of that, um, a couple of technologies that we have is there's a lot of uh, manufacturers out there that have uh, either apps or websites that will help a homeowner um, select the water heater for them depending on different various sizes of questions. It could be uh, um, checking with it, and it's a checklist. Uh, how many showers take back to back, example. Um, you have your tub, uh, what, what fuel type you have, and then you plug that information in there and it'll tell you what hot water heater choices that you're looking for. And it'll, and it'll give you a, your payback and tell you your injury cost. That's really empowering for the consumer to kind of hit the showroom better equipped, I guess, for what their needs are. Yeah, it gives them, when they come in there, it, it gives them some options that they have, and they can work with the, with the, the salesperson um, and say, here's what I'm looking at, will these work? And also maybe talk about applications, what they have currently, and then they'll start selecting the process, get a little more narrowed. Okay. Um, on Powerhouse, we're always trying to encourage people to look for energy saving equipment. How would I know which one saves more energy when I'm out shopping? Uh, different, like I said, different water heaters, like on this one we have a tag on the side, it tells you your, your estimated energy cost. So each water heater will have all these listed on the sides. Uh, you can also go to the websites, uh, applications, they also might have some literature um, that will tell you different energy factors. And also some water heaters will also have uh, different energy star rated equipment too. So, um, which might make a difference too if they're for the uh, utility equipment if they're looking for a rebate or additional uh, cost savings out there. Now, what does the energy factor mean? And do I want a higher number or a lower number? You definitely want a higher number because that means it's more efficient. Also, with that being said, is some of these higher efficient water heaters w might, might be a different cost factor too because they have some, maybe some newer technology there too. Okay, what else should we know when we're shopping for water heaters? Are there any other things? Uh, the biggest thing is, your, is obviously knowing your fuel type, uh, if it's gas or electric, because like I said, uh, depending on where you, leave, uh, where you live at, uh, knowing that's correct sizing it and also uh, making sure you have adequate room for it. And like I said, some of these water heaters will work or might not work depending on what they have there for applications. So in opting for some of these higher energy um, efficiency levels, what's the payback time for that? Uh, payback could actually be shorter depending on the, uh, the water heater they pick out and also depending on the technology there. Uh, we referenced heat pumps earlier. 
heat pumps that could actually have a shorter uh, payback because they are more efficient. Um, your standard tank water heater like this one, uh, payback could be a little longer because the energy factor um, is a lot lower. Great. This is fabulous information. Thank you're, you, Trevor. You're welcome. If you'd like more details and information about purchasing a new water heater, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.